Dear student, today we will see replacement model or replacement theory from optimization techniques. So before this discussing about the replacement theory or replacement model in detail, we should discuss some basic concept related to replacement theory. For any business organization, the common components of any business is man, machine, material. And as we know that when you are using effectively and efficiently all these resources, the efficiency of the machines may get degrade. Or some items or some assets of the organizations, they are suddenly fail. So if the components are not in working states, and if that are not replaced uh, within time, then that is a loss of that particular organization. So to minimize that loss, we have to identify whether you have to use replacement policy to replace when atom gets fail individually, or you have to replace the atoms in a group. So that the, we can say, bottleneck or breakdown time of that particular organization will be very less. And for that purpose, replacement theory plays a very important role. So what is the basic definition of replacement theory? Replacement theory or replacement models are concerned with the problem of replacement of machine, material, man, individuals, or capital assets due to their deteriorating efficiency. It means what? If they are using for a long period of time, then automatically the efficiency of that particular items, machines, may get degraded. Or the machine or particular component may get failed. Or the machine may become some uh, for some duration it may become for breakdown so to identify in that case which policy you have to use whether you have to use individual policy or you have to use replacement uh, group replacement policy to decide that to take such type of decisions or if you are going to use replacement policy then for uh, group replacement policy then what should be the interval of replacement so to, to check those things we are using a replacement theory then we should know what are different problems due to which the replacement is needed. There are a number of different reasons due to which the members, organization members, replaces different components, replaces machines, or replaces persons. But some basic components are, as we know that in this, in this, in the current development era, uh, every day new technology is upcoming. And if the existing company, existing equipments are not cope up with the new current technology, then you have to change your old technologies or old systems because these systems are not coping with the current technologies. So this is the first reason of a replacement. Second, when you are using the particular machines or particular items, at a particular day or particular time, these items may get failed and those items are not maintainable or correctable so you have to replace those atoms like electricity bulb if the bulb is filled then you have to replace that full bulb third one is the equipment has a deteriorating efficiency and deteriorating characteristics means when you are using any machine you are using any vehicle after a long time automatically the maintenance cost may get increased due to its usage so these are some of the common common reasons due to which replacement is required or replacement is needed now we'll see what are different models of replacement theory. There are the replacement theory is moving around the three types of models. First model is called as aging of machine model, where the replacement of items that deteriorate, deteriorate gradually. Means what? Suppose you are using one machine, and for every year the maintenance cost automatically may get, get gradually increasing. And as the life of the machine is increasing, the scrap value also gets decreasing. So in that case, at what is the current time in which you have to replace a particular machine, that such type of calculation, such type of decision making takes place in first model. That's why it is called as aging of machine. In second model, replacement of atom that fails suddenly and completely. In, the, in such cases, which type of policy you have to use in this case, Two types of policies were used. First one is individual replacement policy and second one is group replacement policy. So which policy is better? And what should be the interval of, if you are selecting the group replacement policy, then what should be the maximum interval in which you have to replace the selected items? So such type of decisions will be uh, helpful to take by using model second. And third one is replacement of human being in an organization or a staffing problem. To solve the staffing problem, 
uh, model the third model is used so in today's discussion we are discussing about the second model which deals with selection of individual or group replacement policy how to select individual and replacement group policy for that how to calculate individual replacement cost and group replacement cost and on the basis of that cost we have to compare which cost is minimum and on the basis of that we can decide whether you have to go ahead with individual replacement policy or group replacement policy if you are following group replacement policy then what is the maximum period or what is the in interval in which you have to replace those items those study we are going to complete in today's session so today we will see the first example that is from spp exam april 2018 and december 2018 so this example is appear for two exams of spp exams the first one is the following rates have been observed for certain items end of month and probability of the failures are given so what is this indicates for the first month the certain items the name of item is not given here the failure rate of that but the probability of failure of the but items as 0.1.1% we say 0.10 for second month 0.30 for third month 0.55 for fourth month 0.85 and 0.51 means all items are getting fail in the month in the fifth month so uh, the what they have asked the cost of replacement of an individual item is rupees 1.25 they have given if you are using individual replacement policy then for replacing a single item you have to pay rupees 1.25 this one is made to replace all items simultaneously at a fixed interval and also to replace individual item as they fail means here what they are using situation they are using if the item is failed during the month you have to replace individual item also and for a particular period you have to replace all uh, items so if the cost of group replacement is 50 paisa what is the best interval of group replacement they will ask you if you are using group replacement policy then for that purpose to replace individual item you have to pay 50 paisa in this case if you are using group replacement policy then what is the best interval period to replace the items at what group replacement price per item would the would would a policy of strict individual replacement become preferable to adopt the policy also they have asked whether the organization has to go with individual replacement policy or group replacement policy so in this case one big um, hidden thing is that they have not given how many total number of items are there so it is expected that student has to assume the total number of items with their own but last two years due to confusion of students university has given the value of total number of items so here in this example we have assumed that the total number of items are 1000 here we are assuming total number of items are 1000 and for first month probability of failure is 10% probability hai since second 30% 55% 85% and 100% these are the probabilities given to fail and given to Uh, failure of those items so here wait okay so in this example the total number of items are uh, given that is 1000 then to solve this example one thing you have to take into consideration whether you, you have to check the probability is you have to do the addition of all probabilities if the addition of all probability is 1 then you have to take those probability as it is in this case what they have given they have given the cumulative probabilities of getting failure so for the first month the number of items will be fail 10 so in second uh, month they have considered 10 plus remaining that is 30 in third month 30 plus 25 so in this may they have taken into consider taken the cumulative 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 probability of failures so here probability of failures of certain items is given in cumulative manner therefore the probability of failure per month will be c
in the first month the probability failure is 10 so for second month what is basic difference between first month and second month that is that is the probability failure in second month so 30 minus 20 30 minus 10 is 20 for third 55 minus 13 25 25 85 minus 55 130 1 minus 185 15 so first of all you have to calculate probability failure per month if they have given you the probability failure in community manner then you have to buy forget that probability per month so here we get the probability of failure with of those items for first month is 0.10%, 0 0.20, 0 0.25, 0 0.30 and 150. So in this fashion, you have to calculate probability of failure per item per month. Okay. Then next one, once you calculate the probability of individual uh, individual uh, item, individual month, then second part is calculate total individual cost. So here, the total individual cost the total number of items that is n is zero is given and the value of n zero is 1000 so you have to prepare one table to calculate total individual cost so for that first column should be the month that is given in your example how many months are there five months are there so in value of month is nothing but small n and month values one two three four five second probability that is also given we have converted that probability into per month probability, those value is nothing but P, capital P, those value I have written over here. Then third column is a life. How to calculate life? Month into probability is nothing but a life of that particular item. So if you do multiplication of N into P, we will get life of item for each month. For first month, 1 into 0.10. For second, 2 into 0.20. This 0.20 we have taken from this values 120, 125, 130. This value I have taken in this case. Okay, so I have calculated all these life values. The number of failures per month. To calculate number of failures per month, actually this is a column, number of failures per month. The formula is N0P1. What is the N0? Here you have to remember one trick to uh, remember the formulas. Here, we are calculating the uh, failure, failure, number of failures for the first month, for the first month. So N0 into P1, N0 into P1 you have to take into consideration. So the first value you see, N0 P1, N0 P2, N0 P3, N0 P4, N0 P5. So how many months are there, you have to write N0 P1, N0 P2, N0 is a fix and probability values we are changing, P1, P2, P3, P4, P5 in this way. How many months are there? That much time you have to write into N0 into P N. That much value you have to write. Plus, in for second time, for, for second month, the value of N0 you have to change from N0 to N1. So here N1 P1, N1 P2, N2 P3, N1 P3, N1 P4. Get it? For second month, you have to in a change the value of N0 to N1. For third month, you have to change value from N1 to N2 P1, N2 P2, P2, N2 P3. For third month, N3 P1, N3 P2, and last N4 P4. So, how many months are there? That much terms should be in formula. If the months are five, then five terms. One, two, three, four, five. If terms are three, then the other months are three, then three terms. And the formula to remember is N0 P1, say um, you have to start N0 P1, then N1 P1, then N2 P1, then N3 P1, N4 P1. In this fashion, you have to create the formula. So what value you have to take for N0? N0 is fixed, that is 1000. P1 is nothing but probability for the first month. If you do multiplication of N0 into P1, you will get number of failures for first month. Now this 100 is nothing but my N1. This was for zeroth month. This is for first month. Second month, how many items will be failed? For third month, how many items will be failed? This is nothing but the value of N1, N2, N3. You have to replace those values of N1, N2, N3 and P1, P2, P3 in the given formula. You will get the number of failures per month. If you understood this formula then you can put these values and calculate the values 
how many number of attempts will be fail for first month second month third month and all given months so in this session you have to calculate number of attempts that are expected to be fail in fifth month and remaining months so you have to calculate the addition of total life addition of life of atom that is summation of n into p in this case if you add 0 0.10 0 0.40 0 0.75 1.20 and 0 0.17 0 0.75 you will get 3.20 3.20 is the life of the life of atoms so average life of atoms we can say okay then the formula average failure of atom is equal to total number of atom divided by average life so in the given example we have provided that the total number of atoms are 1000 and the average life of atoms we have calculated that is 3.20 that is 3.2 if you divide under 1000 by 3.2 you will get 312.5 for you and that we have rounded approximate the average failures of atoms 330 so every month we can say on an average 313 atoms will be of no use will be have to we have to replace so we have calculated average replacement of atoms how many atoms you have to replace on an average every month so 313 atoms are required to be replaced so as we have given that the replacement cost of individual as well as a group so total cost of replacement per atom total individual cost individual cost of replacement per atom is equal to average failure of atoms into individual cost of replacement we calculated average failures of atom 313 and the individual cost of replacement is given in our example that is 1.25 so if you multiply 313 into 1.25 you will get rupees 391.25 paisa so this is the individual replacement cost if you replace atoms one by one then to replace a single atom you will be the cost will be 391.25 paisa so this is about how to calculate individual replacement cost then second point is to calculate group replacement cost so for uh, individual replacement cost what are the column headings first one is a month that is given in your example second one is a probability that is also given in your example either you have to convert or you have to take as it is in this example you need to convert the probability but in some, most of the cases the probability will be given here so same value you have to take over here third column you have to calculate life of the atoms we are calculating life of atom by doing multiplication of month into probability you will get the life of the particular atoms then number of failures per month we are calculated number of failures per, per month for that formula is n0 p1 for first month second for second month n0 p2 plus n1 p1 how to formulate this formula we have discussed by formulating the formulas and putting the values of those you have to calculate number of failures for first month second month third month fourth month and last month then by putting the values of average number of atoms and average life you have calculated on an average how many atoms you have to replace per month they have given you the replacement per, replacement cost so if you replace, divide an average number of failures per month into replacement cost you will get the average individual replacement cost of atom now we will see how to calculate group replacement cost the so things month given in example we have to take those months as it is number of failures we have calculated in this table so these are the but number of failures these value we have to take in this second column number of failures then cumulative number of failures in this case what we are doing for first month 100 for second month first 100 plus the second month 210 so 330 310 for third month 310 plus 291 so in this way you we are doing cumulative addition of all failures the third column is cumulative number of failures rate is given in your example for individual replacement the rate is 1.25 this is fixed and total to calculate total you have to just multiply number of failures into rate you will get the replacement cost individual replacement cost for the first month second month third month fourth month and fifth month okay likewise group you have to calculate group replacement cost then we know that how many total number of atoms they have given 1000 so 1000 is a 
number of atoms and if you are using group replacement policy then they have given you the rate of group replacement is point that is 50 by size nothing but 0.50 so rate is 0.50 then total cost of a group replacement we can say is equal to number of atoms into rate that is rupees 500 so group replacement cost is this how to calculate group replacement cost is equal to for the first month for the first month might be some atoms may fail and for that items you have to pay rupees 125 per atom and if you decide to replace all items in first month then you have to do addition of replacement group replacement cost plus individual replacement cost so that is called as group replacement cost 625 is your group replacement cost second one you have to, for second month you have to do addition of individual replacement cost plus group replacement cost in this fashion you have to calculate all group replacement cost for given five months once you calculate the group replacement cost then average cost for month you can calculate for that purpose you have to divide this group replacement cost by month so in first case we are dividing 625 by one so same value will be appear here in second month you have to divide 887.50 with value 2 because we are calculating this average cost for second month so this will be second cost second month cost third replacement cost can be calculated with by dividing group replacement cost by month values so by doing such type of calculations you will get all average cost per month so once you calculated all average cost per month you have to scan the last column that is average cost per month per column so we have to identify we have to check whether the replacement cost is decreasing or increasing so in this case the cost is 625 rupees then the cost is reduced to 643 rupees it reduced to in third month it reduced to 470 but in fourth month the cost is increased so it is suggested that the minimum cost for among these five months is 417 and this is for month three so this gives information that if you want to use replacement policy you have to replace the atoms after every three months because at the, after three months the cost average cost per month is minimum as compared to other cost that's why your answer should be the replacement if you are adopting group replacement cost then you have to follow the interval of three months because after every three months you will getting the minimum average cost per month then next one <clears throat> therefore for group replacement of atoms base interval is after three months and replacement cost is rupees 417.8 paisa here individual replacement cost is 300 3, 3, 3, 391 rupees that we have calculated 391.25 if you replace individual atom then cost is 391 rupees which is less than the group replacement cost because for replacing the atoms in group you are required to pay 417 rupees which is more as compared to individual so in this case individual replacement policy is better than the group replacement policy so what they have suggested here if you replace atoms individually then for single atom you have to pay rupees 391 rupees but the same uh, if you are implementing the group replacement policy of replacing all atoms after every three months then you have to pay rupees 417 rupees so by comparing these values you come to know that the individual cost is less than the group replacement cost so we can suggest in this case individual replacement policy is better than group replacement policy so in this way you have to solve the examples okay